told you, too open. <laughs> too open. But Creighton has lost two straight, three of four. They've slipped out of the AP top 25, but still beat, especially at home. Very, very dangerous. Dangerous team, Carter. They really fly up and down the court. They have 83 points a game, so a lot of fun. They really go after the ball, and they really push the basketball. To out for Shamori Pons. The freshman from Brooklyn misses his first look. Foster, the Big East leading scorer, attacks and scores. Marcus Foster, aggressive to look from three. Marcus Levet off with his first look. He and Pons over two shooting start. Thomas off the bounce. Kyrie. Thomas all the way to Kyrie Thomas, the sophomore, and he missed it badly, barely got the rim. Over six shooting start for St. John's. Foster pulls up, knocks down a triple. Timeout, Chris Mullen. A nearly perfect start for Creighton. Four for six. Five early points for Marcus Foster and a 9 nothing start. St. John's, the Red Storm struggling early. Right, a lot of motion. Transition D is key against Creighton. You don't get back. Marcus Foster, the leading scorer to beat. Thomas off the bounce. Follow goes for Justin Patton. Off the miss from Thomas, Justin. And the wrinkle tonight is you have Marcus Foster bringing it up, playing point. The lob and the dunk for Justin Patton. Getting back into the flow tonight. But Levet can't convert. He's cold. Terrific player. 17 a game. But nice pass. Oh, and in with the pass. Now pushes it off to Hegner. Have a big game. Yakway on Patton. Patton got a piece of it. So Foster ahead to Thomas. And now Huff. Long two for Huff. Creighton in transition. Foster again brings it up at the point. He's not a point guard. He's doing a nice job adjusting to it, Carter, but he's not a point man. Patton. Morell. Thomas in the corner for three. Knocks it down. Second made three of the game for Creighton. This one comes from Kyrie Thomas. Kyrie Thomas, a fabulous sophomore. 12 points a game. Really worked hard over the summer to improve his game. Ahmed. Patton bothered that shot too. Morell had the board. Morell the sophomore from Denver. And one! Ronnie Morell Jr. Plays only six minutes a game, but he's into this one, and his impact is felt. Excellent defense with a crossover. He broke an ankle of Ellison. Nice finish. Here we are in the heartland. Morell with a finish in Omaha. Maury Pons running St. John's. Mussini misses the three. Long rebound goes to Cole Hoff. Foster knocks down the triple. Sack. Foster, 11 to shoot. Creighton playing without a true point. Foster takes it and misses. So Creighton an early 11-point lead. Foster off, but Crumble presence felt in Omaha for the big Slovenian. Interestingly enough, he wasn't very highly recruited out of high school. Only Creighton, Providence, and St. John's showed interest in him. But one guy who me after that, he decided to sign with St. John's. And one of those schools, Foster, how about that? Foster on the run out with a tough finish. Even the shot clock, Ellison misses the three. Now two for 12 from three point for St. John's. Thomas, kick out, here on the shot fake, takes the three and knocks down the three. And then gives some love to the fans here at Century Link Center who have supported him throughout his five years as a Blue Jay. Tons of injuries, he's had three season-ending injuries, Carter, and uh, happy for the young man, he can still play. Yakwe in tight, boarded by Hegner. Zierden attacks again. Hegner, back-to-back threes by Craig. Zierden hits the first one, and then creates the second one for Toby Hegner. The bounce, what a move. Led Thomas Jefferson to the city championship. Thomas with another long finish off by Martin Crumble.
ratio, a great job in a lot of areas. Foster. Foster crosses over in the paint kick. Seared for three. Stick back won't go, but the second follow does. Pender count the bucket right before the basket. The junior from Berlin, Wisconsin. Hegner gets a follow, and Creighton leads by 13 at the half. The Patton's out there to begin the second half. Bad miss on the first look for St. John. Not a good shot. You want to be spinning in the lane. Early touch for Patton. Greg McDermott's done a great job developing Big Ben. His son, Doug, that was a fabulous player, player of the year in the country, and uh, certainly Patton is a fabulous big man. Tim knocks down the three. Points the a man in the paint takes it himself. Patton pulls it, lobs it ahead. Mintz manages to run it down and finish. Good hustle by Mintz. Back into the hands of Thomas. Kyrie Thomas, sophomore from Omaha, attacks, draws two defenders. And there again is Mark. And a box out. Nice drive to the basket. Can't finish it, crumpled. Nobody boxed them out, they all came to the ball. Nice move inside. Uh, Kyrie Thomas couldn't finish. Thomas off the bounce, Thomas pulls up. The drought continues for Creighton. Thomas somehow ends up back with it. And it was tipped over by Huff. Patton boards it. Four shots, and John's hurting themselves with four shot selection at times. Foster, that's the first field goal of the second half. Providence said Providence, which is a big win for them. Uh, Beat Syracuse at the Cubes, your alma mater. Oh, Thomas on the look for Patton. Justin Patton. Backdoor play here by Creighton. They got a guy here and here. It's an oval play. So they oval play and he's going back door. They're watching now. He's got the ball. Here, right here on the outside. Nice pass by Patton. Nice finish inside. Excellent move by Tom. It's a while. They're young. But Chris is kind of easy going, laid back. He's got that pro mentality, chilling out. You know, he doesn't put too much pressure on these young guys. I think it's good for them. Into the post, there's Patton with a turnaround. Justin Patton. Zierden, loose oh. ball, picked up by Creighton. Zierden got run over. Huff finishes oh. on the other end. Oh. Yep. Good break, Dick's team. Lead it by 10 now. Although St. John's has made its last three shots. Thomas attacks. Thomas lays it in again. Kyrie Thomas. A hard worker. Inside, outside, nice drive. He goes by Pons. Nice finish with the left hand. Ooh. About your best friend now for Creighton. Foster lost the handle, gets it back. Foster on the baseline to give him 18 in the game. Greg McDermott's gonna sub in Zach Hansen, so a chance for Hansen to get back on the floor at the end of his senior season. The Cole Huff is going to sub out, so a nice hand for Cole Huff. Spent two years at Nevada, last two years playing for the Creighton Blue Jays. Yep. Love this time here. This is a second family here. Loves it here in Omaha, playing for Creighton. Last game as a senior on his home court. With the 13 jerseys on, the Huff family in the stands to root on Cole. Good representation coming from California for his senior night. The speeches and the recognition come after the game here, so the sellout crowd will stick around. Isaiah Zierden. Oh. The Hanson family in the house. I mean, this really is one of those moments. Of, talking with Zach Hanson earlier today, he said there have been times, even though I, I tried to prevent it, there have been times where I took things for granted. You know, he said, and, and on a day like this, just going to shoot around, being with your teammates. Got it. Loved his time here, and uh, once again, when you can lose something, you appreciate it more. So, uh, but he did a great job coming off the bench for Creighton for the last few years. He played through injuries. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, he had some time. To